All right, people, it is time for another first reviews reaction video with your boy, this kid right here, uh, where I literally just go into Metacritic and I look at a number and then I go, ooh, or I go, ooh, or I go, ooh, you know, I do a, I do a little reaction. Uh, and then everybody goes, wow, that was a good reaction. Good job. Here's a thumbs up. Or I didn't like that reaction. You could have made a more weird face or a funny face dislike i don't know why they're typing on their computer to send a dislike there should be a key on the keyboard is there a key because you can use the keys on your keyboard to do a bunch of stuff on the youtube video there should, is there a key to dislike is it d i didn't even think about that um i don't know and like i guess is l i don't know here take an l <laughs> uh, i'm tired i just woke up so anyway i'm here to take a look at the final fantasy 7 remake Metacritic scores, the first ones that have come out. And of course, I'll also take a look at Open Critic. Uh, both of them are very similar. I like, I like both of them equally. Uh, usually, I go to Metacritic because Metacritic's. I don't know. I've been using Metacritic for a very long time. Uh, but I also go to Open Critic too if it's a game that I really want to know. Oh, I want to know all the opinions. You know, uh, Open Critic is also quicker when it comes to updating the reviews as soon as they come out. But uh, we'll see what Metacritic. All right. So Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, I'm excited for it. I might wait a little while to play it because I want to finish Final Fantasy VII Original again before playing it. I want to compare them. But um, I'm excited to take a look at these reviews at least. So let's do that. Let's go to Metacritic. I'm sure the first thing that will come up will be um, the reviews. So because they have like the... You'll see. Anyway. All right. Because the embargo lifted a few hours ago. So I'm assuming... All right. Let's just click it. Ready? Ready? I'm all right. I, I should do predictions. I'm gonna predict 92. 92. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. Anyway, let's go. All right, 92, baby. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, something got 92. <laughs> Never rarely, sometimes. All right, good going on you. Uh, Final Fantasy. All right, 87. Okay, a retooled and remastered. I don't know about remaster. Hey, that's just straight a remake. Remaster, you make it seem like it's just like a you know, like like calling like Resident Evil Three a remaster doesn't. It's not right, but I guess using that word still makes sense. Remaster, whatever. Anyway, uh, PS4 port of the beloved port. See, I don't know. Um, of the beloved 1997 PS1 game is finally out on Friday. Reviews will arrive today. Reviews are right here. 87. All right, that's that's still really damn good. Um. <laughs> You know what, Final Fantasy, all right, Final Fantasy VII Remake has been a thing people wanted for so long, so immediately you think, I mean for so long, and Final Fantasy VII, some people consider the one of the best games ever, so it's like one of those things where you have to either temper your expectations or just go crazy with your expectations. Temper them as in like it's a remake, so it might not be the same. It's also if it's the same story, it might have aged after you know. I mean, video games are a different place now, so um, or you can go crazy because it's called Final Fantasy VII and go, it's gonna be amazing, you know. Um, all right, so 60 wow, 67 critic reviews already. I mean, it's been a few hours. No, I don't want to see Brad Pitt. Um, all right, let's go down. I'm sorry, I was just watching the trailer. <laughs> all right, um, I gotta see some tens. All right, is that the trailer? Yeah, that was the final trailer. Uh, anyway, oh, a few tens. Oh, a lot of tens. Look at those ten. Oh my God, that's a lot of tens. Okay, um, I don't know, let's start off with the tens. Actually, let's start off with the mixed. There's only a couple mixed. Oh, there's some. Okay, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want to read the Kotaku one. It's not even. This ain't even a review yet. But uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not what I expected. It's a grand, ambitious, beautiful experiment. A bold new take on a game that millions of people remember fondly bold new take okay it sometimes feels shackled by the weight of two decades worth of expectations but it handles those restraints with a plum uh i certainly can't see can't wait to see what's next as a great man great man named barrett wallace once said ain't no getting off this train we on all right i'm not even gonna try to do his voice especially since i'm half asleep uh there's a there's the verge there's a moment that many players experienced early on in the original game myself included up until that point the entire story had been contained in midgard uh, Midgar, sorry. Then all of a sudden you leave the city and realize just how big the world really is. It's almost shocking. So far, Final Fantasy VII Remake has successfully captured that initial feeling. Now, I want to see the rest of the world. Okay. All right. 
I mean, that's that's one thing you could say. Like, if they really changed this a lot of what was in Final Fantasy VII story wise and even like event wise, um, then it could be really awesome seeing that second part. I guess just seeing how how they how they open up the world. Um, uh, let me read. I don't know. You know, let's review. Read some actual critic score ones. EGM, ooh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake manages to balance the introduction of new concepts with faithfully recre recreations of the original game's most memorable aspects, but it also unnecessarily pads out this first installment in a larger story with too much downtime between its most striking moments. Okay. Uh, let's read it 8 out of 10. Let's uh, pick VG... No, IGN. Oh, wow, IGN gave it 8. Oh, oh they, they get some hate. Um... They get a heat for that eight. The expectations around Final Fantasy Remake are sky high, and it mostly manages to deliver. Its combat is top notch. Its enemy variety kept me const constantly entertained, and seeing this snippet of story fleshed out with real emotional arcs and the previously hidden humanity behind Midgar filled me with pure joy. The boring RPG filler and Kingdom Hearts s convolution. Oh no! Oh. Ugh. Uh. That was inserted in between did stop my ear to ear grin from being constant but never long enough to kill the mood completely at least this remake is one that still delivered on let me relive part of a classic and stupendous fashion while also standing as a great rpg on its own and let's, yeah, let's read a 10. Uh, let's do yeah let's do a 10. uh let's see let's do six access and it's short too an utter joy to play from start to finish packed with memorable scenes must mustache twirling baddies and epic battles the first part of final fantasy 7 remake isn't just polished it is opulent wait okay so i just i don't know why i just thought of this what the fuck are they gonna call the next part are they just gonna call part two or something like that or, or are they gonna do they're gonna i don't even know why i asked that they're gonna do fucking the 10 2 and uh yes i'm combing my hair got a problem um they're gonna do the the ten two route. It's just gonna be called seven two. So it's gonna be called seven two remake. Seven two sounds so bad. Like I don't know why ten two and thirteen two sound fine, but well, they sound okay. I guess they sound fine enough. But I, for some reason seven two just doesn't sound right at all. Uh, hopefully they call it something else. Uh, um, but all right, whatever. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, that was 110. Screen Rant, above all, though, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a picture-perfect picture, picture perfect return to Midgar. It's one that's been a long time coming, and as, prepare, as it prepares its players for the next installment, it's every review has talked about the next installment, which that a little bit worries me. <laughs> it's possible that it's also laid the foundation for what could be the greatest series of Final Fantasy games ever put together, providing the quality holds up once the story begins to really expand in the next installment, of course. Okay. All right. So game looks amazing. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's go to Open Critic. I think Open Critic uh, is also a reputable source. So let's go there. Sorry. The reason why I take this off sometimes, I forgot to do it earlier, is for some reason when I don't, um, and it's the page is loading up, it uh, <clears throat> my... Um, my screen capture, no, not screen capture. XSplit is what I use to record things. Doesn't like it when it's loading. It's weird. Anyway, totally reliable delivery service. Fifty-three. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. All right, eighty-eight. Oh wait, hold on. Go back. Oh no, disaster report four. Oh, you can't even click on that. That's weird. Oh, you can't click on anything. Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh my god, fifty-seven. That sucks. Critics recommend. Uh, 13%. I I love the original Disaster Report, so that sucks. Oh, it was supposed to be released in 2011. Yikes. Oops. And you see, this is what I don't like doing. Okay. That's fine. For some reason, whenever I, I load a page up on with my... When in the screen... Eh, whatever. Just... I'm too tired to even explain it. Just... Whatever. Alright, 88. Okay, critics recommend. Okay. IGN, Eurogamer recommended an, expan an expansive remake that treads carefully upon this most cherished of games, though some blunders will linger long in the memory. Oh, no. Oh, Brad from Easy Allies gave it a 9 out of 10, so that's good. Yeah, Brad reviewing that makes sense. Uh, fans will be arguing about it for decades to come, but for now, this is surprisingly daring. I'm just, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just flash forwarded to 2030. If I'm even, if any of us are still alive, me included, just. 
hearing i I just flash forward to me older listening to some asshole complain about it like you know what fun fantasy remake part one of 18 was terrible or whatever it's just like uh same same shit i still hear about stuff like i don't know <sighs> pick your game just any here insert game <laughs> last of us wasn't that good here's a hot take bioshock infinite's not good whatever <laughs> it's just Legend of Zelda is an overrated series. Rockstar games are dated. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're I think we're good. We we got the idea. All right. So there you go. That's the first reviews for. Oh, my face is really red. Ugh. But anyway, that's the first reviews for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, it's looking good. I'm excited for it. I want to finish the original game now, especially after reading some of these blurbs uh, saying how different, drastically different it was here and there and how some people are going to really, really be upset about what happens. I hope they don't go like Advent Children route where it's just like incomprehensible and ridiculous and cringy and ugh. And I know I mean, that's going to get me hate, but Advent Children could fucking blow me uh it looked nice for the time watch it now it looks like garbage but for the time it, it looked nice but when you have a, a, a line in a movie that's uh what is it dilly dally shilly shally now nah, i'm fucking you you lost me <laughs> even in fall fantasy oh it was bad and that's not the reason why i, hated it. I just thought it was incomprehensible and just i didn't anyway